miles of Sebring. I am so excited to be here to take a look inside the United Autosport garage and I'm going to learn a little bit more about their LMP2 cars and specifically their engines because I actually don't know that much and I'm going to talk to my friend Alvaro. How are you? Hi, good to meet you. Basically, uh, compared to a normal road car, right? Uh -huh. um, this car see a lot of high lateral forces on track, so that's the reason why we have a look in here. We have this tank. Yeah. And is it just the oil tanks in here? You say? Yeah, exactly. Okay. So basically, the the oil is living in there, right? Mm -hmm. And it's pressurized into the engine. Is what we call the dry zone because basically you have a tray underneath the engine who collects the oil, put it back into the tank and yeah. send it again to the engine, right? When you talk about oil engines, everybody think about, you know, noise, performance, but obviously the oil basically is giving you the reliability yeah. because, again, we need to, to think that these engines, right, are running in a very reliable way during 24 hours, you know? You need to think that, obviously, motorsports is a very good place to test uh, products that are working to its limit. That's amazing. Yeah. So obviously I think for oil manufacturing it's quite easy to use some of the technology they're using in racing industry. Thank you so much Alvaro, it was a pleasure to learn from you and we will see you next time. It's been a pleasure. Thank you.